Mayor Lester Miller wrapped up his first budget proposal to the Making Bib Commission this afternoon. He pitched an over $174 million budget for the county for fiscal year 2022. Ashlyn Webb listened to the mayor's proposal and talked with him about his spending priorities. Ashlyn joins us live outside the government center. Good evening. Well, I'll start with what everyone wants to know at home. Will your taxes increase, decrease or stay the same? Good news. Mayor Miller says the taxes will stay the same if uh, will stay the same if the commission approves that um, proposed a uh, proposed budget. Now, on top of that or aside from that, uh, Miller says that this also outlines his priorities for the year. As usual, public safety will take up the biggest part of the over $174 million budget with over $80 million. We're going to fully uh, compensate all of our employees by funding the uh, entire year uh, on the pay scale and continue to do that in our budget. Another priority, bringing business and good jobs to town. Miller wants to give an additional million dollars to the Industrial Authority, the Urban Development Authority, and Workforce Development. He's also proposing an additional $500,000 for code enforcement, which cracks down on blight. Half of that would help to hire five new code enforcement officers. The other half would go toward contracted services to help clean up those areas. This would allow the code enforcement officer to use part of his budget to remove those cars. Um, if there's a dangerous structure there, he can use that money to remove that structure or repair that structure. Uh, we can put a lien on the property. While there's been a major effort to clean up the county since January, the mayor says the county is doing their part with the budget. He's proposed allocating an extra $20,000 to keep making Bib beautiful and an additional $1 million towards beautification projects. To be able to cut the grass like we're supposed to, pick up the trash like we're supposed to on the side of the roads, but also improve our gateways coming into our community uh, on the exits when you get off of. Miller is also making some cuts. He recommends eliminating all money for Atrium Health Navison and museums in town from the general fund. That means that funding for those places drops to zero. Not that we don't care about them, not that we don't value them, and we're going to make sure they get the money they need to operate through another source, but our general fund is not built for that right now. Mayor Miller told the commission that now they have a new and required reoccurring $15 million expense. Now that's made up of the cost of the pay scale, uh, increasing pension payments and debt payments. He says that they are looking for new revenue streams and places they can make cuts moving forward. Reporting live in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. All right, thank you, Ashlyn. The mayor also pitched increasing funding for planning and zoning by over $200,000 with some stipulations. Among other things, the department would have to decrease rates and fees and put $100,000 toward improving pedestrian and traffic safety.